Good morning, y'all. It is August 20th. I think. I don't even know. I forgot what day it is. It's Monday, August something. I can't see out of my window. There we go. Um, today, I just thought I would do a car vlog today because, you know, I just have. I just feel really in the dumps lately, like, just depressed sometimes, and I, I know you're supposed to be happy with your life and, you know, what the parts that you're given, and I know that some parts of your life, you control it, but I don't feel like I control parts of my life. Um, I want to... I want to be a stay-at-home mom. I want to stay home with my kids. I want to be that. I want to be that. I want to be a stay-at-home mom. And financially for us right now, that is not possible. Um, we would be upside down every month. You know, after we pay for gas and for groceries and just after we... And anyway, and so there's some people in my life that know that. They know that that's what I want. And they also know, kind of, that we're trying to have another baby. And they have expressed to me that they feel like that we are wrong for wanting to bring another child into this world when we don't even take care of our own kids, that they go to my mom's house during the day while we work, and that we financially sometimes, you know, are, are just limited, but, you know, we're never, we're never, we're never without anything. My family and kids are never without anything, but there's just times where you know you have to limit yourself like anybody does. I mean, no one that I know, I mean, at this point in their life are just so financially free that they can just blow money. I mean, I don't know anyone that way, but anyway, the fact that they have expressed that to me really pisses me off. I am a firm believer, and I not, don't know that no one else, or not very many people believe this, but I believe that in my faith that God will take care of you. He, if this is what you choose to do, if, if I make the decision to stay home with my kids, God will provide for me. He will allow my children to go hungry. He won't allow me to go hungry. He won't allow my husband to go hungry. He won't take our roof from over our head. He won't. If the things that you actually need in life, He will provide for you as long as you're doing the things in life that you're supposed to. And I firmly believe that. But it is so hard for me to think about doing that and, and taking away that, not financial freedom that we have, but the flexibility that we have with me working and having some expendable income. I'm too scared to do that. And so I won't be too scared to do that when the time is right, you know, and, and the way things, I just have been having a feeling lately. And I don't know why I feel this way, but I, I, feel, I have feelings like this sometimes. I just feel like it's not in the cards for us ever to have another child. I just don't feel like it is. And I said from the very beginning of this whole trying to conceive process that if it didn't happen, I would be okay with it. And the more that I think about it, I'm not okay with it. But I just have this this feeling that it's that's just not in the cards for us. That for some reason, whatever it may be, that that's not the path that God wants, you know, our life to go on. And you know, in my faith and and what I believe in, God tells you things and He He teaches you things in His own way. And you know, I'm not gonna cry because I'm about to make up to work, but I just feel like he's trying to tell me that, you know, be thankful for what you have. Feel blessed for what you have and move on. 
and I always have some hope, you know, but then I always have that feeling in the back of my mind, and it's hard, you know, and I also have, I feel like he's telling me, you know, Elena, you need to be home with your kids, you need to be home with your kids, you never get these days back, you never, you never get to have that day again, you know, with your kid and with your child, and, you know, you don't pay enough attention to your home, and, and anyway, it's just, I have this feeling all the time, and you can imagine how much of a struggle that is emotionally for me, because, you know, I don't just do something half-assed, like, I put my whole self and heart into my job when I'm at my, when I'm at work, and, you know, I put my whole heart and self into my family when I'm with my family, um, but lately, like, especially the past few months, I haven't been able to put my heart into my job because my heart's not there, and, it, you know, and then, then all these people, like, just for example, um, there are several people at church, um, I don't think I'm everywhere. Um, there are several people at church, which I, and I always reference people at church because most of my friends are at church. But there's three, four people, uh, four families that are expecting right now. One of which, their little boy, is the same age as us, and they're only a day apart. And I'm so thrilled and thankful for them that every. You know, they're all, they all were, you know, planned pregnancies and expecting, you know, just, they, it's just so exciting for, for them. And I'm just so happy for them. Um, and I said something yesterday uh, to someone about, they said, oh, you know, we better not drink the water here at church, you know. I said, I want to drink the water. And a couple of people were in the room when I said that, and they were like, you, why? Like, why would you want to do that? And I'm like, what do you mean why would you want to do that? And they're like, you, why would you want to have another baby? And, and I stopped and, like, defended myself. I said, here all of you are excited for these people in our church that are having babies, all of which have other children. And like I said, one of them, which has a baby the same age as Edison, but yet I tell you that I want to have another baby, and you tell me why would I want to do that, like, it just, like, I was so pissed that I was, I was physically upset, like, sick, I just felt, that is the wrong thing to say to someone, and that is the wrong opinion, if, even if you have that opinion, please don't freaking express that to someone ever, if, if this is how you are, like, don't ever tell somebody, ultimately, especially the people that told me this, they have no, they will, they are not responsible for my children. They have never done anything for my children. Yes, there are people that I go to church with, but I, it just blew me away. It really did. I was just having a really bad day yesterday. And, you know, I've told all this before in a rant video that my family is not of me having any more children. But what I'm trying to get to is all of this is just kind of piling up on me emotionally, and I feel like I'm going to break. Like, I feel like I'm going to snap in two. If something else happens at work bad, I don't know how I'm going to react. Like, I'm, I'm going to quit, or I'm going to get fired because of my reaction being so... I don't know. Like, it... I just feel so stressed about it, and, you know, I want to have peace about all of this, and I want to be okay with all of this, and I just don't know how to get to that point. Um, I don't know what's going to give or what's going to have to give or what, I mean, because either way, whether I don't work, that stress is gone, but then the financial stress is there. You know, if I do work, you know, financially we're fine, but the emotional part of not raising my own children and, you know, my child not, I mean, there's just, you do things differently as a parent, and, you know, you, it's just, anyway, I, it, there's just, I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't, and 
there's only really one way to be out of this situation is, is for my husband to make more money and you know I feel like I already put enough pressure on him um, as is and I, I don't want to put any more pressure on him he he already does so much for us and works you know long hours and I just that's not something I want but anyway I'm sorry if this video is depressing or, you know, comes off rude to you in any manner, I just have, I just don't know what to do, I just don't, I don't know what to do, and if I go with what my heart says, there, it's going to be really hard for us, and if I do what my brain says, my heart hurts all the time, and I don't know, I, I just don't know, and, uh, yeah, so, and I didn't, I couldn't take a burden because this morning I just put it, I, I don't care, I, I do, but at this point, just the way that I feel, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon or ever, and I'm just done, I really am, I know it was only four months to try, but, um, I know people wait longer than that for a baby, and I'm not saying that I'm giving up on the hope of that, but I just, with all everything else that I'm feeling right now, I just don't want to add another thing. So, anyway, um, I guess if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, leave them below. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I hope everybody has a good Monday. Bye.